Hi, Larry Stewart here with 4constructionpros.com. I'm at uh, Caterpillar's Edwards Demonstration and Learning Center uh, just outside Peoria with Jason Hurtis, who's global market uh, professional with Caterpillar, and Trevor Shanahan, who is the general sales manager for Altor for South. Guys, we're talking about the Global Operator Challenge. This is a really cool event that uh, Caterpillar and its dealers put on. Uh, this is all Torfer's event, right, uh, Trevor? Yes, sir, uh, that's correct. It's our second event, actually. Really? Second time. Okay, so first time in 2019? 19, yes, right, correct, right. yep. What do you see the differences in between this one and, and last time? This year we did a lot more, uh, involved a lot more of the uh, integrated technologies that Caterpillar uh, provides with their new machines. It did a little bit of preempting of that with our customer base, so they uh, are prepared for the final challenge at Con Expo. I remember at Con Expo, people talking about technology on machines and and being interested in in having that be included in the operator challenge. W what kind of things are people using out here at the, the, these challenges? What kind of technology? Yeah, so we've got a 317 with payload on it. We have a 982 XE with payload on it. Uh, and we also have a, a new next-gen D5 that has uh, grade control on it. Yeah. And we'll be using all those in the challenge. Right, right. And uh, yeah, they have the luxury of here on a wet a March day in the Midwest, being able to use Caterpillar's demonstration center this, with this great indoor arena. Oh, it's amazing. The guys at Caterpillar Edwards do such a fantastic job. They helped us design all this, uh, all these events, uh, all these competitions, and uh, with the operators in mind, obviously. Wonderful place to be on a wet, rainy March day, no right, doubt. Right, right, yeah. yeah. Talk a little bit about why the Global Operator Challenge is important to Altor. It's a great opportunity to, to showcase uh, Caterpillar's new product line, you know, get everybody in one place at one time. We invited our entire customer base and we uh, had to limit the head count to 35 people. You know, it's a one day event and there's multiple competitions, so we did have to have a uh, head count on it. Right. But uh, we're very pleased with the turnout. I, just, I recognize a few faces that were here back with us in 2019 are back again this year, so it's a lot of fun. They're taking another crack at it. Taking another crack at it. All right. Well, Jason, you've been kind of the voice of Caterpillar here for a while, literally doing radio spots. Talk a little bit about how the Global Operator Challenge works overall. Overall, we started it in 2019 and 2020. Um, we've partnered with all of our dealers around the world, Baltifer in this particular case in, in central Illinois, and we've asked them to com complete challenges. So we're bringing operators in, and really what we're looking for is to highlight the skilled trades. Bring operators in, hopefully attract them to the business, people that watch this online, hear your voice online. You know, maybe I want to get involved in the operator career path. Because you talk to any of Trevor's customers, they're going to tell them, my number one pain point is finding and retaining skilled labor. Right on. So that's what we're trying to promote. The secondary benefits are what Trevor mentioned, you know, promoting our machines, promoting the technology, showing an operator that, hey, you can do an, a job without technology, but if you incorporate technology, look how much easier and faster and more accurate you can do that particular job. It gets organized at the dealer level yeah. around the country. We organize it by Caterpillar, we do the terms and conditions, we have to follow all the different country and state laws, make sure the dealers are aware of that. But the dealers are the tip of the spear, so they start it. Once you progress through the dealer level, so like the winner from today, will come visit me at the regional event in North Carolina in October. And that's happening around the world as we speak between uh, now and September of this year. Our dealers are hosting their events, testing their operators, we're going to have all the regionals in October, so the regional in the U.S. in North Carolina, Chichibu, Japan for APD or the Asia Pacific Division, uh, Malaga, Spain for all of Europe, Africa and Middle East, and Piracicaba, Brazil for America South. Okay. And the winners from the regional events will take nine of those, so three from Americas, three from Europe, three from Asia, and we'll send them to Las Vegas, and those nine operators will compete on the global stage at Con Expo. If you go to cat.com front slash operator challenge, you can go to that website. We'll link you up with the local, your local dealer or a dealer that's participating, and you can sign up and participate at that event. You've seen this happen a couple of times, Trevor. You, you've talked to these guys after they finished in 2019. You're seeing guys working, working today. What kind of tips would you give potential competitors for making it go? A variety of machines and make sure that you understand some of the integrated technology that Caterpillar is offering today. Payload certainly is going to be a strong point and great control in the track type 
type tractor. Go online, go to YouTube, maybe check out your dealer if you don't have a machine that's equipped that way. Visit with them, see if there's a product that you might be able to get in and push a few buttons and check it out. Yeah. Our guys did a great job of, of, of walking through those steps with each one of the operators prior to and then during the event itself. So it was it was a great opportunity and I think it, it helped them become more comfortable with the technology, onboard technology. We've got excavators, backhoe loaders, dozers, wheel loaders, the whole nine yards yep. going out here. And each one of these operators has to go through every one of those those tests. You know, it's not all technology. I mean, again, there's a lot of finesse here. There's some, some trench crossing with a backhoe, you know, a lot of, a lot of interesting things that people will be familiar with. But then there's a the technology part of it as well. Well, and Trevor's done a good job of setting it up. So it's not, it's fun and it's unique, but yet it's an application that the operator is probably used to. Yeah. You know, moving material out of a trench box, these operators have had to do that before. Maneuver a backhoe through an obstacle course and do different things with the work tools, they've had to do that on the job site. Loading trucks with a wheel loader, they've had to do that. So it's using the skill set that they've built in their day job, and then again, enhancing that with the technology and then obviously scoring and testing them to find out who's the best. A little bit of finesse thrown in there too. So guys that are used to using a thumb and doing, doing some things with some touch have a, a, an upper hand in those events. Absolutely, because as Trevor mentioned, what we're looking for is the best overall operator. Yeah. Not the best wheel loader person, not the best female on a backhoe. We're looking for the best operator. Somebody that we can put into a different machine platform yeah. And they can improvise, adapt, and overcome and figure out with well, the skill set that I have as an operator, I know how to make this machine perform to the task that I have at hand. Thanks, guys. I think this is going to be a really cool event and really enjoying seeing it from the ground level. And we'll be, uh, be seeing it again at Con Expo next year when the, when the finals are happening. Absolutely. Nice to meet you. Thanks so much. Thank you for coming. We appreciate it. Good to see you, Larry. Thank you. Awesome can be contained. I got